Hey there, welcome back. It is September 16th currently for me. It is 11.34 in the morning. I am sitting in my bedroom I'm here for the day, in the house for the day, waiting on uh, the adjuster to call me back and call me back. The adjuster to call me, reach out to me, and for service master to check, come back and check the house. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see where I had a pipe burst and it caused water damage in my kitchen and my dining room. That happened yesterday, September 15th. It was a very overwhelming day for me to say the least because I was in here while David was at work with the baby trying to like clean up the water, coordinate all of this to <laughs> get it taken care of. But it's a new day. I learned so much yesterday. It was also a growth day because of that um, overwhelming feeling and I feel better. And yeah, so I wanted to come on here and just talk about my experience yesterday. If you're a new homeowner or if you don't own a home and you're interested in looking for a home, I hope you use this experience as your own like learning situation so that when you do or experience this you're already ready y'all because i had to call my mama <laughs> so yesterday we noticed water pooling on the floor and we heard a sound coming from this little our kitchen is the front and dining room is divided by a cabinet because we're in a two-story townhome and we saw water in the dining room but it looked like it was coming from where we keep our water bottles, like our case of water bottles. So we initially thought that the water was coming from like a busted water bottle or something like that. So David went on to work. I cleaned up the water. I moved the water bottles, the cases, the one on the top, I evaluated to see if it was wet. If it wasn't wet, it wasn't wet. So I moved it by the stairs and then I picked up the other one that was on the floor and I put it in the sink just to see if there was going to be more water falling out. And then I went with a dry mop and I mopped up all the water. By this point, the water had went from the dining room to the living room. So our area rug was wet and it wasn't all the whole room was covered in water, but it was just like a stream of water. If that makes sense, like multiple streams of water, not just one, but like multiple streams of water, I guess, because the cr the cracks the grout in the tile. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, The crevices in the tile. So I mopped up all the water. I moved everything from that area and dried everything off that got wet. And I noticed the water was coming back. And then I noticed a sound coming from the cabinet. This cabinet has no water in it. There's nothing in, there's nothing in this cabinet that's water related so our refrigerator is next to that cabinet but our refrigerator is hooked in like we don't have a running ice machine in our refrigerator so i went to double check that valve the valve was closed i went to the kitchen sink and i turned off both valves just to see if that would stop it it didn't so then where i live we have to call the city to turn off the water because if you cut off the water yourself it costs a hundred dollars because the city, because we didn't call the city to turn it off. So I called the city, somebody came right out and they turned off the water. I went outside and said, hey, if you turn that off, will I stop hearing that sound immediately? And he said, yeah. So when he turned it off, the sound went away. So I'm in a townhouse and it's a connected townhouse. I just wanted to make sure that, okay, when he turns off the water, it's our water that's gonna shut, you know, it's us that's gonna turn the sound off and not necessarily the neighbors. Thank goodness it was ours. We got the water off. I called American home shield that's who we have so if anything my functions in the house what we pay you have the option to pay i think fifty dollars seventy five dollars or a hundred dollars i think and we chose the option to do a hundred dollars for each visit so depending on what breaks in the house like your ac unit plumbing electric refrigerator like any your stove anything like that breaks you can call them to come fix it we kind of gauge when to use them so if it's something big like the ac i'm calling american home shield because nine times out of ten if i call an ac repairman it's going to cost more than a dollars if it's something like plumbing depending on what the plumbing is nine times out of ten it's going to cost more than a hundred dollars so if you are a new homeowner if you're if, in general get you something like american home shield to where if something breaks you have a little coverage to be able to just pay something small for them to take care of everything else so i called them and then at first i got 
you know, a young man on the phone and he was like, yeah, somebody will call you after 24 hours. At this point, when I first called, I had it turned off. I had it called the city to turn off the water. He was like, they won't call you until 24 hours after the ticket is created. I said, I can't wait 24 hours of water running and I got an infant in here. It's just, that's a no. So I said, I'm gonna call them myself. Like they give you the contractor information. So I called them and the woman was like, I'll call you back in an hour. I said, okay. So I tried to call my mom. She didn't answer the phone. She was at work. I called my dad. And I was like, hey, what should I do? He was like, cut the water off. So I, that's when I called the city, got the water cut off. And I said, okay, I am going to pack me and the baby up. And me and him are going to go to my parents' house. The girls were good. They have water. They have food. I let them out. I said I can come back to the house and check on them. I just don't want to be in the house without running water with him, especially if I can't wash my hands, especially after using the bathroom and stuff, or even be able to use the bathroom because all the water is off in the whole house. So I went to my parents' house. The lady from the um, contractor that American Home Show linked me up with said, we don't have anything available until next Tuesday. We won't be able to be to your house until next Tuesday. I said, well, that's not going to work. I can't have the water, all my water cut off in my house until next Tuesday. And I have an infant. Even if I didn't have an infant, the water can't be cut off that long. Who is going to be in a house with no water for a week? So I called American Home Show back. I got somebody else and I told her what was going on. I said, listen, like I have an infant. I can't wait until next week. No one really would want to wait till next week. I got the water cut off. The floors are squishy. At this point, I have laminate flooring in the kitchen. The laminate flooring was squishy. Then just letting me know water has made its way to the kitchen sink. I said, and I don't, and you know, I don't know what's going on. So she said, let me expedite this. She called somebody else, which I don't know why they call, didn't call them first. Cause normally this company, they come to us for multiple visits, like whenever we need something, they're the ones that I get called and they know me respond quickly. I don't know why they didn't use them initially, but they came out within like the next few hours. I'm at my parents' house. She said they'll call within the next 24 hours. That I don't know if that'll be today or tomorrow. I said, all right, so I'm like trying to make a plan of what we're gonna do in the house with no water overnight, potentially. So I'm at my parents' house and I get a call from the new contractor and they're like, hey, we can come out. We're out here right now because your neighbor actually called for water, like water issues. Do you know if they're home? I said, well, she's at work. So know your neighbor, it helps. I said, but I got the water cut off at my unit, but I think the water might be coming from my unit into hers. And they said, okay, I said, let me know if I need to come back home. And he said, oh, we'll call her and see if we can get her to come out before we have you come. I said, okay, just let me know because I'm only 15 minutes away. Then they called me back and said, yeah, come on by. They came by, I told them where the sound was coming from and they went in there and checked it out. Come to find out it was a hole in a copper pipe. Didn't know I had copper pipes. Learn something new every day when I got the house inspected to purchase they said PVC but that's because you see PVC everywhere else in the house so I guess inside the walls and everywhere else is copper which is concerning me so I have to do some research with what that means because I know that can mean like pipe replacement to my basic knowledge and that's costly so I don't know what to do about that but I'm not gonna stress about it. I have gotten the knowledge and I gotta do some with it. So I'm just gonna research it at this point. Then um, they fixed that, they closed, they drilled the thing back in. I was like, why would you drill it back in if there's, the installation is what They told me the installation inside of the wall was wet. And so I was like, why would you close that back? Mold, mildew, I don't want none of it. So I called my home insurance company when I let them know what was going on. I said I got water damage, but my deductible, me and Dave, is deductible is a thousand dollars so i didn't know if i should just call a company first and have them come out and assess to see if it even cost a thousand dollars or go ahead and file a claim and she was like well go ahead and call them and see before you file a claim with us because that's normally what i would do so i called two companies one company said oh first of all let me just uh one company said, let me have to schedule and call you back to schedule an appointment. I said, okay. Then I tried to call another company. They didn't answer. I called them three times. So technically I called two more times. So the third time they picked up. They were the ones to send somebody to my house within the next hour, hour and a half. The other people who said they would have schedule and call me never called me back. Like, it's so frustrating, especially when you're having water issues, plumbing issues, to have somebody not call you back as a business come on now and then why do you have people answering the phone who don't do scheduling that's the weirdest thing to me but it's not my business that's money they lost out on so the other company came the guy 
initially I told him what was going on. I told him, listen, I'm trying to see if it's worth it to do this claim or not. The young lady on the phone told me, you know, nine times out of 10, we got to replace the floors. It's going to be more than a thousand dollars. And he confirmed because he went in there. He tore up all the laminate flooring. He cut the drywall. Come to find out I got two layers of drywall. I think it might be for sound. I'm thinking there's two layers of drywall for sound purposes because it's connected townhouse. I'm not sure. He cut a hole in the wall. He opened up that drill spot under the cabinet that the plumbers had closed back up. He put fans in and a humidifier in to dry everything up. They took my area rug that was in the living room to wash and dry that up. And then they're going to come back today to see if everything is dry or but then again tomorrow if it's not dry today like they'll just keep coming back periodically and it's so cool because they use this little tool to like scan everything to, to check for moisture that's how he knew where the water stopped in the wall thinking to myself i was stressed out about this and i was like lord if it's not one thing it's another but i learned a lot from this i learned to have copper pipes i don't know exactly where all in the house i have copper pipes but there's copper pipes in some of this house i learned i got double drywall i don't know if that makes a difference i guess i could look that up and i also learned there's real hardwood floor under the laminate that they pulled up and i was like why would you do that but come to find out the real hardwood floor had water damage next to the kitchen sink which is we're thinking why they put the laminate down but the real hardwood floor is glued down so he said hopefully they can dry out the real hardwood floor and leave it so that the floor people can take it up because they have better tools to remove it since it's glued down and then we'll discuss a new floor so i'm deciding or well, deciding i'm waiting to see if i can do tile floor versus laminate or wood floor because i just feel like it's more appropriate in the kitchen and then it'll just keep the flooring in the house a little consistent and then that way when i change the cabinets i don't have to worry about matching them to the floor first of all the flooring was ugly when i bought the house second of all the flooring the real wood flooring underneath the laminate was ugly too so i'm hoping i can do towel as the replacement but i filed a claim with my insurance and i'm waiting on the adjuster to call me back so we can discuss that and i guess depending on what they say will depend on when i get on pinterest to do some searching for what i want it's just so funny how life works sometimes because in here i was saying i wanted to tear up the carpet in my bedroom and i said if i'm going to tear up the carpet i'm going to redo the baseboards i'm going to take the um the popcorn ceiling off and i'm going to paint the walls and i was just like i want to do this all myself like i want it to be a diy but i have no idea where to start and my parents have flooring and i was just like okay i'm gonna do it and i was looking at youtube videos for how to do it but now i'm gonna have some people up in here so i guess i'll see get some tips from them on how to do the floor when i do it because i want to do it myself why not so this just kick started i had already felt the urge to start doing house diys but you know it's costly when you don't have the right tools or the knowledge it can, it's very intimidating i am very intimidated by it i'm not gonna lie i need to get past that because this is something i want to do so i have to i have to get past that i want to take and ultimately i want all the carpet in this house gone initially i compromised with david to keep the carpet in our rooms and the stairs for the dogs but uh -uh. neither one of them vacuum when i say neither one david the dogs so i gotta go and so i want to do that that's a project i want to do paint change the baseboards out eventually get all the popcorn ceiling gone out of this place hopefully but that's again all intimidating and all in due time so right now the projects we have happening in the house will be the floors in the kitchen and then the fence my mother and father are getting our fence redone as a wedding present which lord they do so much already y'all they do so much already and I am extremely grateful and I feel so blessed to even be able to listen to him. I feel so blessed to even have the parents I do who are generous and who are so loving. And at first I was fighting them on it. I was like, no, we're going to get the fence done. Y'all not going to pay to get the fence done. Like, no. And then I was just like, you know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like okay so yeah that's getting done so the yard will look a lot nicer it's so much i want to do but it takes so much time and then some of it is pricey especially the tools but i shouldn't let that intimidate me 
And if you are feeling the same way, you should not either. So I'll keep you guys updated as far as what's going on with the floors. If you follow me on Instagram, you will get those updates first. But yeah, this is life. Homeowner, fixer upper. I mean, it can really happen in anybody's house. But as far as the other DIY projects, you can do DIY projects in a newer home. But you really need to do them in a fixer upper if you want to. Yeah, this video is long enough. <laughs> so I will update y'all as things progress and go from there. So I will see you later. Bye.